Um, what is it now? Master, it is time for news. You know damn well when I'm in the reading room, I am to be left alone in my reading room. The pink order. Well, I suppose if it's that time, then it's that time. To the news. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of Ah, I Am A Total Piece Of Shit. This week in the news, a scammer steals pictures of my dying son and creates a GoFundMe. Late last month, my cousin created a GoFundMe for our dying son. It was a huge blessing and it brought together people from all over the world. Sadly, even this guy. That's really upsetting to lose a child, my God. You have my condolences, I guess. Not that it means anything from a random stranger on the internet, but my thoughts actually are with your loss. This absolute fucking piece of shit steals pictures of my dying son and uses them to scam people on his GoFundMe. This fine upstanding gentleman. I blacked out some of his info, but left some so you could see the absolute gem the guy is. Let's see what kind of person he is. Oh, he's a killer at the Hitman Inc. He studied smacker person he went to something else this guy blocked my wife and me before he posted anything but luckily this angel of a person found out and sent us some screen caps she is a friend of my wife's sister and she has been blasting this guy all over and yes she made a post so that everyone could know that this person is a scammer that's very good of them she even went as far as to do a reverse image search to prove that he stole the images and yes sadly our son passed away on the 25th of april same day as my birthday he didn't quite make it to a month. That's really shit, guys. I feel for you. Yeah, that's awful. This has naturally been one of the hardest things my wife and I have ever gone through. We had incredible support from our family and we will miss baby Waylon every day for as long as we live. He fought very hard and doesn't deserve this kind of treatment from a piece of fucking shit. We are going to attempt to have him arrested for identity theft and fraud. We're just not sure where to start. No matter what, we are proud of our little angel. We love you. That's really upsetting. But sadly, people will always try to profit off of somebody else's misfortune. We do get a slight update from the OP in the comments. Thank you so much. I'm honestly not sure what to do. I want to report him, but I'm not interested in money. I don't even know if I want him going to jail. No, this guy deserves to go to jail. I just want him to somehow realize that we know and he shouldn't try to exploit a dying kid. A dead kid. Edit. I called Oakland Police Department and filed an online fraud and identity theft case, including screenshots. They will look into whether or not it's a valid report, and I will be updated as to if they accept or not. I will also be filing a report with the FTC. Thank you all so much for your help and support. Deserves jail, in my opinion. What kind of scumbag deserves to profit off a dead child? Someone who's got a very special place reserved for him in hell. I don't believe in hell. Now what I believe is that he actually has a special place reserved for him at the end of somebody else's cricket bat. In England, it's against the law to walk your dog on a public highway or byway without him being on the lead. And yet I see people break this law all the time. What I haven't seen is this. This guy that walks his dog like this on a busy road. What an absolute piece of shit. Remember, I'm not giving my opinion here. This is all the channel's professionally held opinion about pieces of shit. Due to the rise of anti-vax parents, this child, who's too young for vaccines, got infected with measles from unvaccinated older kids of anti-vax parents. Fucking pieces of shit. Look at that poor child. Look at that poor child and tell me that your belief system is more important than their health, you fucking piece of shit. Posting these heartbreaking images of our beautiful baby girl who contracted measles is extremely difficult. We are still in hospital eight days after being admitted. She was too young for her MMR vaccination when she got sick, which meant she has had to fight this killer virus with no immunity. Measles is not just a rash, it can cause blindness. Encephalitis and pneumonia. It has been absolutely horrific watching our daughter fight this with her eyes swollen shut for four days. She has been in the dark, scarred with a high fever that lasted for over two weeks, 
In hospital, she has been scanned, x-ray poked, prodded, bloods taken, lumbar punctures done, cannulas fitted, swabs taken, ECG echoes, OBS done every 20 minutes, tube fed on a drip, oxygen pumped full of drugs, anti-inflammatory pain relief, antibiotics, you name it, she's had it. The truth is, all this could have been prevented if the protection layer of older kids above her had been vaccinated. Herd immunity will not work as long as there are stupid fucking cunts out there stopping it from working. Now let's look at some pieces of shit who have deaths on their hands. People delaying evacuation from burning airplane and increasing death toll by picking up hand luggage from overhead compartments. Look at this disgusting piece of shit. Look at him right here. Burn that blurry pixelated image into your head because this is the issue. And there's another one behind him. And there are other people on the runway also carrying their luggage whilst people on that plane literally burnt to death. Because these people decided in this moment that their luggage was more important than somebody else's life. According to reports, an airport official said that many passengers delayed emergency evacuation because against all instructions, they were picking up hand luggage from overhead compartments. Safety announcements in planes regularly tell passengers not to take their baggage when evacuating aircraft. Jeffrey Thomas, an aviation writer and author of Airline Ratings, said it's extremely likely the death toll would have been lower had the planes been evacuated quicker. What is really concerning here is if you look at the vision, you can see them carrying their bags and there's passengers inside taking videos. Clearly, this is another situation where passengers getting their bags off instead of just getting off the plane has tragically caused people to lose their lives. This human piece of excrement, this sewer waste, this pile of fucking shit blocks the only exit on a burning plane to grab his bag. 41 people died and he had the fucking gall to ask for a refund. A fucking refund. Dmitry Klebushkin, who was sitting in seat 10C, allegedly stopped to grab his hand luggage as flames spread towards the front of the plane and terrified passengers desperately tried to flee. Mr. Klebushkin has faced criticism over claims he blocked the only escape route while the aircraft filled with toxic smoke and, after surviving, demanded a refund after the disaster left 41 people dead. He was seen walking away from the plane carrying his backpack, despite rules that state passengers in an emergency must leave their baggage on board. The Murmansk man allegedly became furious because he was refused a refund as the relatives of 41 fellow passengers who died were coming to terms with their bereavement. My second point, Aeroflot Airline, it consists of heartless and unprofessional people. I failed to get a refund for my ticket for 40 minutes and in the end I did not get it at all. No, what you're probably going to get is 41 counts of manslaughter, you fat piece of shit. If I was in a burning plane and somebody was in between me and the only exit, I probably would commit a felony to get out. I would knock that fuck out from behind and climb over their unconscious body if that's what it took. I would then try and drag their body with me to escape the burning aircraft because human life is more important than your fucking luggage, you piece of shit. I'm not gonna link the video to this one. If you want to see it, you can go look it up on Reddit. I'm not interested in snuff videos. However, this piece of shit drove on the wrong side of the road whilst playing a game of chicken and died whilst injuring four other people. Now, I feel incredibly terrible for her family. That is fucking shit. You never want to lose someone. But how much of an inconsiderate fucking shithead asshole can you be to play a game of chicken in a car? Do you not realise that they're effectively one ton weapons hurtling down the road at hundreds of miles an hour and in a head on collision, you're 60 miles an hour plus somebody else's 60 miles an hour? You fucking piece of shit. You didn't deserve to die. Nobody deserves to die. Now guys, veganism isn't healthy. Veganism is bad for the planet. It's not good for the planet, you stupid fuckwits living off of soy milk and almonds. 
destroying the planet by shipping asparagus from South America to the UK, you fucking retarded little cunts. But, but, you should never, ever, ever force somebody else to eat something that they don't want to eat. Guy thinks it's okay to give his vegan girlfriend milk to prove she can eat whatever she wants and she gets horrible acne because of it. Worth the read, this guy is such an asshole. 24 male, 26 female. I've been dating my girlfriend for three years. A while before I met her, she went vegan, basically for health reasons. Mostly, she swears that it cleared up her skin. From pictures, it seems she went from really gnarly acne to very clear skin. Now I thought this might be due to her age. Teenagers get acne and it goes away. Yeah, hers just went away a bit late. And now that we're living together, I've been getting tired of all the vegan food. I do the grocery shopping, but she does all the cooking. She's a great cook, but sometimes a man just needs some mac and cheese with cut up hot dogs. Then cook for yourself, you fucking puss. So I thought I would prove to her that the whole dairy gives me acne thing is in her head. For the past two months, I've been emptying the same soy creamer container and filling it with dairy creamer. I was going to do a big reveal like, surprise, you can eat whatever you want. But she's been wearing makeup both in and out of the house lately. And last night, I saw a bare face for the first time in a while. And it is bad. Dude, you are such a fucking soy boy cuck, even if you aren't a fucking vegan. God almighty, I feel so fucking sorry for your girlfriend, you fucking piece of shit. Like insects about to hatch out of her face bad, so I figure I'll just quietly throw out the dairy and her skin will go back to normal. I feel bad, but on the other hand, I was doing it for her own good. Come on babe, don't you understand I've been feeding you something that as far as you're concerned is literally fucking poison because it causes you to break out in fucking acne, which is effectively like having a rash all over your face. God, just understand, babe. I need to eat some fucking meat and I can't be fucked cooking for myself because you're such a good cook. Honestly, girl, get yourself a real man. You know what? Enough of this shit. You little cunts are ruining this world. You don't deserve any more news. Not for today, anyway. Take it easy, you lovely little pieces of shit.